Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by Westridge Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. We're having fun in the backyard. We are making pork shots. shots. Yeah. And we got West Woods with us today, of course. Big boy so. hotline. <laughs> He's calling in a gangster. How can I help you? <laughs> He's calling in pork a shots. great recipe. Got you, boo. All right. All right. So how do we start this? So we're going to, these are pork belly, or no, oh, jeez, never mind, forget those it. Those are not pork bellies. Coffee's no. kicking it now. So we're going okay. to take some softened cream cheese, throw that over there, forget we ever seen it. They'll call the city on us. A cup of sharp cheddar. I don't know why they make mild cheddar. Sharp cheddar is just so much better. Okay. Right. Is there, yeah. We're going to take some butcher's all-purpose all seasonings. He's got you a know, guy. Measure from your heart, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or for your heart, maybe. Taste it afterwards. <laughs> Make sure it's good. It smells so this good. is our filling. Yeah. This is our filling, right? Okay. So we're going to take this. You want to mix that up? I know you like stuff to do. While we're getting like here, we'll get it rolling. <laughs> that was talking to me. I was like, no, I really don't like stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to, while, while Holly's mixing that up, we're going to take our bag, right? We'll get it ready. Take Putting the top of the lip, the roll it over. Let's be a gentleman about it. Okay. And we'll take our cream cheese mixture. Give me that. Which isn't yeah. done yet. You're just like, you, right. look, just... <clears throat> Okay. Get, get in, in there. there. I thought I was get gonna... in there, girl. Don't be shy. Do you recommend these Jason Bourne gla uh, gloves that you're wearing? Is <laughs> I that mean, listen, you don't want to leave any DNA behind, all right? <laughs> I was going to say, you're not okay. leaving any prints. That's good. So okay. listen, we got our mixture done. Okay. Right. Okay. Thick boy nation up in here, man. It's getting colder outside. You want to put a sweater on? No, man. You want to put like an extra 20 pounds on. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> extra 20. Take your spatula. Get her on in there. Okay. Don't leave any behind. Yeah, I do it. Write us and tell me about it. Smoker's going, bacon Smoker's and going. So here we go. This is basically what we're doing. We're setting it up. This is our piping bag. Okay. Take the corner, slice off a little bit. Not a lot. Oh, you're going to squeeze it out of there. Kind of just, oh. you know. Okay. Like cake frosting. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. right. That's good. when you test, taste it, but we're not okay. going to do that right now. Okay, so now what else we got to do to get these shots going? So now, kielbasa. Okay. I go to Walters and Sons. You know, I've said it every now and then. He's got a guy. Got a guy. 108 years. They're not doing kielbasa wrong. Or met so That's their homemade. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. So we're going to take the tips off, and we're going to feed that to the dog pound. Where's he at? Hey! <laughs> ah, sorry, man. I had to do it. I love you guys. So we're going to cut them about an inch thick. I keep looking at the final thing. The final thing is down there. Right, we shouldn't tell people exactly that. Right, I know exactly what they hey, look like. I keep oh, watching. I'm a magician here, man. Okay. I'm working. Guy, a guy walked by earlier and was like, hey, man, you need 20 bucks? And I'm like, no, I'm just a Bengals fan. I'm not homeless. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy over there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Another brown, You're out there. Brown fan, okay. Okay, so now, so now we have that. Yeah, now we got that cut up an inch thick. We're going to take our bacon. Yes. <laughs> Anything <laughs> involving bacon. We're going to slide this off good. to the side. Just get right. a little bit of that. It's already cut in half. So it comes in a full slab, you cut, cut it in hand. half, you take that, where'd it go? Oh, they're right here, hallelujah. We're gonna take our toothpicks and our bacon. You wanna get like a thick bacon, this one's cut really thin for some reason. You wanna get like a thick bacon so that way none of the cheese and stuff melts out. Okay. okay. So you're gonna take your meat disc, put it down in the middle, fold over once, roll the rest of the way, take your toothpick, get your kids involved, Bingo. All right. That's your shot glass. Okay. Where am oh, I at, camera guy? Over here. That's why we have pork shots. Yeah, okay. Pork okay. shots. We're going to do it again. This is a very good technique. If you want to get your kids interested on eating new stuff, this is what you do. I'm going to start over again. Take your disc, the meat disc, put it in the middle, fold it like we're tucking them in at night. <laughs> <laughs> and roll. And right. roll it. And then put the toothpick. Sweet dreams. A little assembly line you could have. One more there. time. Okay. If we got time. <laughs> right, we do. Usually we're we do. just rushing through this thing. This is awesome. <laughs> we might be at the end. We're not yes, sure yet. Exactly. Okay. In the middle. Slide it over. Give it a little roll. All right. Okay. This one's a little. Or you can just hold it up like this. It's Make so little Muppet right. uh, babies out of it. So these okay. are little glasses. Little shot glasses. They will hold the goodness is what you Bingo. So now that we have this, a little shot glass. Love okay. you too, bro. We're going to take the cream cheese I already had piped in our bag. Okay. And we're just going to pipe it in. How high are you going? Level uh, in So I usually or? go about just a little bit below the top. Okay. Now, from here, you can add pulled pork and then a jalapeno if you want to be fancy. But this yes. is a base, okay. base okay. method here. And okay. then we're going to cook them how long? 350 for 45 minutes. Okay. Then after the break, we're going to finish this up. We okay. Are. We'll be Taste back. Taste test. 
Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by West Street Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. I can't lie. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Wes Woods is back with us. He's rolled the pork shots. Now we're going to cook these babies you know, up, right? Just give it a little all-purpose seasoning again okay. on top, you know. Then we're going to pop them on the grill grates. And then uh, if you don't have a smoker, you should have got one for Father's Day. Might ask for one. Or Mother's Day. Or Mother's Day. Yes, exactly. Or Mother's Day. Exactly. So like we said, 350, 45 minutes, that's going in. Or it could be the oven if you don't have a smoker. Grill, you said you could do. I mentioned do, microwave. He so got if, if you, microwave, don't. If you do have the oven, please use a grid so that way the bacon doesn't get soggy in its own grease. Oh, but okay. Oh, interesting. Right. Yeah. But okay. here we are. And these are the finished product. That is the and finished I, product. And remind us again where temperature and how long we were So at? 350 for 45 minutes, okay. and then like the last five minutes, I, use, I make my own barbecue sauce. I'm dying with this recipe, okay? My son will get it on my deathbed. It's in the will. <laughs> you know, good luck getting it. Um, I'm going to try this. So I made this this morning. This is what I usually put on two minutes before. Slap it in there. They're good. It's good to go. They? Tax up. Wow. I had one of the rejects. Beautiful. I'm going to get it. Really, really and listen, good. don't forget to take this toothpick out because if not, you're getting a free piercing. Right. Okay? The reject. Yeah. The, I got a free tongue piercing with mine. I think barbecue is the right sauce, but obviously you could use whatever kind of sauce that you you like for this. Yeah. Wow, it melts together nicely. It really does. Okay, I'm going to go back. Heaven forbid we don't have a smoker. Heaven forbid but we do have to use an oven. Is there any broiling involved at the end, or are we just staying constant temperature? Constant temperature, 350. With, we're not messing with that. Okay. That's right. Yeah. The only thing to do is pull it out, slap some barbecue sauce on the end. There's also this mango habanero barbecue sauce. Oh. Really good. That's, like, really good. But You like to use a ranch dressing as a dip, too. We, listen, man. We poo-pooed that quickly, but a lot of people oh, like homemade. ranch. homemade. You make a good one. Otherwise. We're tailgating, so I get Ken's Steakhouse, okay? Yeah. Gunny had to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not a huge ranch fan, but there are a lot of ranch, ranch, ranch You got to do, do it the without ranch. the barbecue yeah. sauce, I feel, but right, dunk yeah. her in there. Knock it in and These go. are really good for tailgate, right. for having a party, watching Excellent. football games. Excellent good job, stuff. as always, Wes. Yeah. Thank, thank you very, very much. much, Wes. And thank you for watching. And NBC News Daily is up next. Have a great afternoon and terrific weekend.